Let's subtract the fractions 2 thirds minus 1 half. What we're trying to do is figure out if we have 2 over 3 minus 1 over 2, what is the fraction that we end up with? When we're subtracting or adding fractions, we need to get the denominator, that's the number on the bottom, to be the same. Then we can just subtract the numerator and bring the denominator across. Let's list the factors for 3 and for 2. So 3, 6, 9, 12. And then for 2, we could do 2, 4, 6, and there it is, 6. So the lowest common factor for both 2 thirds and 1 half, that's 6. So if I could get this to be 6 here and here, we could subtract 2 thirds minus 1 half. Let's multiply 2 times 3. That would give us 6, but we have to multiply the top as well. 2 over 2, if you divide 2 by 2, you get 1. So we're not changing the value, just the way it's written. Over here, to get 6 as our denominator, we can multiply 2 times 3. And again, we'll put 3 over 3. So now, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 thirds and 4 sixths, they have the same value. If you divide 2 by 3 and 4 by 6, you get the same number. Minus 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, we have the same denominator, so we're just going to subtract the numerator. 4 minus 3 is 1 over 6. So 2 thirds minus 1 half is 1 sixth. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.